right and now they have to do is to run this command copy it and they paste it here config and the name of the file that is cube edm config.yaml So make sure that this cube edm config.yaml file is created on the master node, not on both of the nodes, because this cube edm will configure and will create and will make this EC2 instance as our master node or our, our controller controller plane of our Kubernetes cluster. So once it's created successfully. We have to copy this line and paste them on our worker node and run them as super user. We paste them here and we hit enter. So we, we will wait until it is done it, then I will come back. So now it is waiting, and now it is now it is joined it now. Another thing I want you to pay attention for it, and it is very 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 important. If you didn't open this port on the security group, right here, of your the security group of your master node right and you allow for the port can come down here either you can or if you want to do only a local app you can click on all tcp and you will open all the ports or you can type here custom tcp and then upper the port 60 64 43 if you don't allow that then your worker node will be not able to join your master node because your master node is listening on the port 6443 so make sure for that that you have set the that port on the inbound roles in your security group so now What I'm going to do is execute these lines and these lines I will explain you what they mean this in this line especially inside this this file we have all the instruction we have something we call it let me explain you the context Sorry. We have something call it the context. So I have the cluster. 
section, then the context, then the user. So this is our this is the cluster, and this is the context, and this is the user. Right. So now, for example, if I have user, for example, I call it Ablad, and they have a cluster call it, for example, development, development, and then another cluster. We call it production. So, I want this user to be able to communicate only with my development cluster. And for example, I have another user, call it Ali, and they want Ali to communicate. I will show you. I want this user to communicate with this cluster and the other user to communicate with this cluster. So where I should define that, where I have to add these instructions. So that Kubernetes, once I will type the kubectl, right, then Kubernetes will go to this file and check what, what cluster this current user must to talk with, right? And we, we define this in something called the context. So in the context, we define which cluster and what, what, so which user would talk with which cluster. So here, for example, this user talk with this cluster, then I will come to the context and they will say Abdelali, and then the name of the cluster. And, and the same thing here, instead of development, I will type that in production. So to see what I am talking about, you just come here to your master node and type config and view. And here you have a clusters section, a context sections, and user sections. So in the user section, we have Kubernetes admin, and then the cluster name, it is Kubernetes. And in the context, we have the name of the user, then the, the name of the class of the, of the cluster, right? And the, here we specify the current context means that this, this user once will type Kubernetes, sorry, kubectl, So we have problem of connection again. I will try to connect again. I will pause the video I will come back so if we win once the user type kubectl right because this kubectl allows you to talk or to interact with the IP server it is the core of the cluster or of the of the Kubernetes cluster right so once you when you like for example type git kubectl git notes and another thing, for example, kubectl, git pods. These instructions in, go to the IP server and then the IP server collect that information for you. But how this, this cluster or this kubectl will know which, which cluster should interact with? 